Yo, guys, we've got a fight of the century on our hands. It's Max Holloway versus Ilya Taporia, and it's going down in a couple of weeks on October the 26th. And I honestly believe there's going to be fireworks. We're either going to see a Max Holloway clinic domination, exposing Ilya Taporia for the little unskilled Spaniard that he is, or we're going to see Ilya Taporia KO Max Holloway. This fight is one of the more intriguing fights of the year. They've both just did a face-to-face -face interview, and apparently I've heard that Ilya Taporia cooks Max Holloway. And Ilya is a confident person, so let's just jump straight into this interview and see what goes down. Ilya, I'll start with you since you're the champ. Um, I was going to start with a different question, but I couldn't help but notice you have the BMF belt behind you, and yet Max Holloway is the BMF champion. Care to explain? How's he got the BMF belt? To be honest, he's not putting his belt in, the, in this fight. It but is. after after beating him, it's like I feel as the as the BMF. But it's something I do for myself. It's nothing special. Max, what <laughs> Why has he got the BMF belt? <laughs> it must be a replica. Uh, he, he bought it. He's a fan. He's been a fan for many years. And uh, yeah, to be honest, a... I've been a fan from from many many years. To be honest, yeah, I've been a fan. Yeah, a I followed your man. entire career since I started to, to doing my first steps in MMA. And yeah, you've been a great example for the new generation, but now it's my time to be that example for the new generation. That's what I love about Taporia, though. He'll actually just be honest and say, yeah, I am a fan, but I'm still going to whoop your ass. So what's your point? Max, what do you think you, uh, of that when he admits that he was a fan of you? Uh, I know in, he's in a fan. He didn't have to admit. He didn't have to admit it. He's a big fan, and everybody knows it. That's why he oh, stalks me on Twitter. He I, stalks I, on I, I have Twitter. been a, a big yeah, fan. I, I I can say can say the the opposite. I've been a, a a huge fan of you. I followed your entire career as a fan. You've been a great father, of course. Yes, yeah, I'm not gonna say the I was yes. I was but in his position to get Jose Aldo. Now we here. October so twenty six. After the October twenty six, maybe you will become my fan. Maybe <laughs> you will start learning from me. Oh, I just love the arrogance. Uh, he's kind of like, you could love him or hate him, but Ilya Taporia has really been growing on me, especially after that Volkanovsky win. He's leaning into that arrogance more and more, and you can even see Holloway's somewhat amused by it, and he's fully embracing himself as the champion, as he should do. What have you thought about Ilya's rise to becoming a champion? Good. I think it was good. I think it was good. He earned his way. He earned his keep, you know. He beat, he beat guys he's supposed to beat, and he did what he had to do. Now we're here, you know. He gets to face... <laughs> The Bless Express come October 26th, and we're about to see what happens. Uh, Bless Express, it's over, my friend. The Black Express, over. <laughs> he can't even say it. The Black Express, the best. Bless Express, brother. Bless Express. Bless, Bless, Bless Express, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bless Express. <laughs> Bless Express. <laughs> what what have you thought of Ilya's outspoken confidence, whether it was against you or any other opponent he's faced in the past? Hi, it is what it is. People, different people need different <laughs> motivations, and that's his motivation. So I just can't wait, you know. I can't wait. The fun thing is we get to find out. We get to solve all this problem, all this talking. It's just talking until October 26th. The cage door is closed, and may the better man win. And no you know, one's going to save you once that's, uh, that cage is going gonna to be closed, my friend. No, one, no, no one's going to save no you one. too, buddy. No, no one's going to be in there. Actually, there I is. The, the ref. One, the referee gonna is going to save you, buddy. You, you, the ref you, is in there to save you, buddy. For the first time, trust me. Trust me, and then you become an instant fan. An instant fan. You all become. <laughs> He's so smug, isn't he? We'll see. And, and you already know how it feels when you have to bounce back. You already have a seven professional defeat. I have zero. So Ooh. you're going to do it once again really well. I don't have any doubts about that. You are a great example of that. And you yeah, have to I stay. Took, I, took, I took a lot of people's donuts, bro. I hope you like Cheerios. Because <laughs> you're about to get one come October 26, buddy. <laughs> oh, Max. Ilya Taporia is low-key cooking right now. He said, you have seven professional losses. I have zero. Because Ilya Taporia is from Russia, of course. He's making fair points. And Max Holloway isn't the best talker. We don't really expect any quick quips from Max Holloway. But I do believe this is a 50-50 fight. But I'm loving Taporia's arrogance because Max Holloway doesn't do that great as selling fights with his talking and on the fight build-up. So having Taporia as that heel... As the enemy, as the bad guy, it's good to get people excited for this fight because people are going to either tune in to watch Holloway destroy him or they're going to tune in 
to watch Holloway get KO'd for the first time? October 26th, the only thing I'm going to do is to take your lights out and then party with all my people, with all my team. That's what I'm going to do. And still, this is what's going to happen. I don't need we to see, see to, to see. believe. I first of all believe and then I see. So I don't have any doubts that I will be the first one to knock you out. And and I don't even want you to trust in that because if you, you're starting to trust in, in what I'm saying, you, you don't want to show up. And I, I need you to show up in the fight. I show up, bro. I show up every single damn time. And you know, uh, you've been a fan for a long time. I showed up every single damn time. This I've been, been a fan for a long time. Of course, I've been a fan for a long time. And what? Oh, damn, Tapori is confident, isn't he? You just said exactly what I said there. Yeah, of course, I've been a fan for a long time. And what? Said it with his chest. Ilya, what has made you so certain of your results? Obviously, you're still undefeated, but you have carried a confidence that we've seen from few others. Where do you get that? Because I know all the effort I, I put in. I know all the sacrifices I do. I know how hard I work and what I'm able to do inside that octagon. I know what I'm able to do. So I've been a huge fan of, of Max Holloway, of Volkanovski, of many, many fighters. And I learned many things from them to create the perfect fighter who I am today. So that's why I have that kind of confidence because I know that I represent the style that no one has in the UFC right now. I honestly believe Ilya Taporia is a nightmare matchup for anyone in the featherweight division right now, especially Max. I think Max is going to struggle with him, to be honest. I'm rooting for Max. I want Max to win. I'm backing him. But Taporia, man, his skills, his leg kicks, his wrestling, his boxing, combined with this level of confidence, you can see it in his eyes. Max doesn't really have much to say here. Max, describe the challenge of being the veteran that's battle-tested and taking down the younger fighter, the, the generation that's coming up, as Ilya says, <laughs> albeit he's the champion in the featherweight division. Look at him, look at him. We see what happens, you know, at the end of the day. All this talk, all the everything he's saying, we get to find out October 26. I've been training hard, I've been working hard, and, uh, you know, he's confident, I'm confident. I can't wait for it. You can see Max is visibly bothered by Taporia's arrogance here. You see, he kind of took a little bit of a breath and sighed a bit there. Tapori is sitting there with the BMF belt on his shoulder, just looking arrogant AF. What do you think of his belt on his shoulder right now? He bought it. For what, 600 bucks, 700 bucks, brother? That was a waste of money. Ilya, why did you purchase a BMF belt? Mm -hmm. uh, because I won it. Sound like a spoiled child. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, since you're holding that belt, Ilya, what did you think of Max's fight against Justin Gaethje in April? I watched that back again today. <laughs> what a fight that was. Today, everybody saw the video already. We saw the video. Run the clip. Run the clip yeah. on the interview. You know, everybody know how he felt about the fight. I'll run the clip, Max. So this was Ilya Taporia's reaction after Max Holloway KO'd Justin Gaethje. I'm literally getting goosebumps now thinking about that fight again. Bro, I was so bored watch watching that fight. The only thing excited about that fight was the last 10 seconds, to be honest. But I didn't see any technique in that that that, that fight. I didn't see any strategy. I didn't see any f***ing thing. I just saw a bar fight, to be honest. It was very <laughs> spectacular for the fans. But for me, as a professional, it was a... I don't know, not something very impressive, to be honest, because you can impress everyone, but you know the technique behind that knockout, and it was zero. <laughs> Just an exchange and a bar. Oh, man, he's going in right now. I challenge you to, to have that, that exchange, but in the first 10 seconds of the fight, Ooh. and you will see what's going to happen. Ooh. When you face a fighter like me inside the octagon who brings that technique and that power, you can do that. Damn. I'm going to take your head we'll off. Find out. If you We're going to find out October 26th. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. First thing, you Don't love me. that. You get tired every time. Relax. I get tired. I get tired. Calm down. I get tired of knocking people out. We've got two more weeks. I get tired of knocking people down, out. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You calm down. You calm down. You calm down. Ilya's lead in this debate. Ilya's challenge of Max to throw down like how he did against Justin Gaethje, but in the first 10 seconds 
of the first round. There's going to be fireworks in this fight. This fight is going to be absolutely sick. Max has said he's the best boxer in the UFC. What do you think of that? Bro, that's a shame. Don't say that again. I recommend, <laughs> don't say that again. <laughs> Bro, Bro, why why not? Not? He's the best Bro. boxer in the UFC. Not head movement, not knockout power, not technique. He, he's just, listen. What's he doing? What's he doing? And I, I saw him w working with the backs. Oh, yeah. Bro, <laughs> what the f*** is this? Don't do that. Don't, don't Bro, do you're that. You're doing the same exact drill on top of your own bag. What are you talking about? Same exact drill. Same exact <laughs> drill. What are you talking And you know it. You're laughing because you know it. Give me Joe. I, I, I don't f***ing you know who's Joe. What Ily is referring to is this little drill here on the heavy bag. I'm not a boxer, so I'm not too sure what the point in that is. I'm sure there's obviously a reason behind it, but I don't box myself. If one of you guys can comment in the description. It's just hand speed, maybe. Hand speed coordination. Max, obviously your boxing credentials are pretty well established in terms of your record number of strikes landed and all that. And what do you think when you see when you hear somebody saying you don't move your head and these fundamental techniques that you don't have? We get to figure we get to find everything out, brother. He can talk all this talk, we get to find out October twenty sixth. They we all say the, the same shit. I swear to God, they all say the same shit. I will be the one who is gonna <laughs> put him in his place. He's cocky, he's this, he's that and I and put them in, 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 in them place, you know? I'm telling you, having a different accent and the broken English definitely makes you funnier. Look at someone like Paulo Costa, someone like Ilya Taporia, Islam Makhachev. They're all absolutely hilarious. Also, the same they're going to take my life They're going to be the first one to drop me. Trust me, I didn't, I it, didn't it, came it, it this far just, just to lose, you know? I'm going to take you head off. We'll I'm going to take you head we'll off. Get to see. Once you're going we'll to we'll we'll feel my power, trust me. You will be like, oh my God, what the f I'm doing here? Better than to more. stay at home. Yummy, send some more. I keep telling you in there. <laughs> Yummy, send more. <laughs> what? Send <Saying> more? <laughs> Ilya, why do you think that you're the person that can knock out Max? He's never been knocked out in his career. Because he never faced Ilya Topuria. He never faced El Matador. He never faced someone like me. Never. We had one opponent in common, what he couldn't do in 75, 75 minutes, I did in seven. He has seven professional defeats, I have zero. He's the challenger, I'm the champion. That's why I I, I, I know that I'm gonna knock him off. <laughs> Mate. Mate, Taporia is confident as hell. He's cooking right now. What's Max gotta say? Come on, Max, you're my favorite fighter. Clap back at him. I know you're not a talker, but come on, give him some heat. That's great reason to me. I'm not gonna fight with him. I'm not gonna argue with him. He has a great reason. He can believe what he believes. October 26th, yeah. those octagon doors close and we get to find out. See, that's mainly what Max says. Well, October 26th, we'll find out. Okay, let's find out October 26th. Okay, brother, let's find out October 26th. I'd like just a little bit more substance out of Max. I know it doesn't really matter. All that matters is the fight and I want Max to get it done, but I don't know. The more that I see a Taporia, the more the pendulum is starting to tip towards me thinking that he's going to win. Max, you've, uh, you know, more than 30 fights in your career, decorated run as a featherweight champ. You've been in all kinds of lead ups to fights, the trash talking kind, uh, the respectful kind. How do you characterize this Listen, one? Do, do, do you really think I'm, I'm trash talking? I'm saying the truth. He is confident. He is confident, bro. It is what it is. I ain't gonna. Right. It's a fight game. He's trying to sell a fight. He gets pay per view points. He gotta do whatever he gotta do for himself. What do you, you like to do for yourself, Max? I like to show up. And that's what I do. I show up every time. October 26th, I'll show up. You can definitely tell Max in the second half of the interview is a little bit more riled up. He's a little bit more frustrated. You can just see in his face, his eyes, his body language. Not that I'm an expert. Could be looking into it too much, but you can just tell he's a bit fed up with this interview already. He doesn't like Ilya Taporia's arrogance, the way he's laughing in Max Holloway's face. He's saying all these facts about, listen, I'm undefeated. You've been defeated seven times i'm knocking out opponents in seven minutes when you couldn't even get them out of there in three whole fights we had somewhat fans back on that cater fight we had to have a full arena for this one and <laughs> i can't wait you know get the title back on the title take it home and just get it done you know i can't wait for it Ilya is so excited he's shadow boxing while you're speaking <laughs> the guy's a weirdo bro it is what it is 
So anyway, I'm go, weirder uh, than, than you normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm weirder than you normal, mamma mia. <laughs> Sorry, go, go train after. It's an interview, why you shadow I walk? already trained. I already trained. Now I'm going to rest. This Perfect. is what I'm going to do. Why are you shadow walk? Right. You're ready to rest. <laughs> I want to scare you a little bit. Of what? You can scare all clients. <laughs> tranquilo, chico, tranquilo. Solo muestrate. Uh, if he was a bit of a troll, look at his face. <laughs> Why was this the fight that you wanted? Ah, I mean, I wanted undefeated, be able to get my title back. Why not? You know, he is the new generation, like everybody's been saying. You were forced to fight me. Been here, you were wait. forced to fight me. You didn't want to fight me. You were forced, forced to fight to me. Forced to fight you. Yeah, because you no, asked to fight with Michael you Chandler. Crazy. You asked to fight with with Conor McChicken. You asked to fight with too many <laughs> fighters because you you were trying to avoid me. Who told you this? Who told you yeah. this? Who told you this, my friend? Who told you this? Exactly. Shut up. You're lying. This guy's a liar. <laughs> I'm a liar. I'm yeah. a liar. Yeah. I asked for you. I asked for nobody. Look at my I asked eyes. For Look at my up. eyes. I'm a liar. Look at your eyes right here, brother. Yeah. What? What's up? You are the one who was trying to avoid the fight. You oh. are the one. Oh, saying no. Oh. You are many, many times explain about, how. about different different fighters. You said to the UFC, I want to fight with Mike Chandler. I want to fight with Karma. I never Chandler. ever I asked to fight, fight with Michael with Chandler. Why would that, I fight that, that, that. him? Why would I ask to fight him? Everyone. Why would I ask me. to fight him? Come on. What? You are the first guy I asked for. I want Ilya to, I want the easiest fight. Yeah. I want Ilya out. to for you. That's what I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. The easiest fight. Whoa. <laughs> easiest fight. You're going to realize. You're going to find out. Oh, bro. yeah. Hey, Ilya Teporia is not the easiest fight. He's probably the hardest fight. Even out of the lightweights that Max could have fought, I think Michael Chandler is probably an easier fight than Ilya Teporia. Dustin Poirier, probably an easier fight for Max, despite the fact he lost the first one. I just believe that Teporia is a nightmare matchup for Max. I already opened a, a home for all people. Walk, Walk already has his room. I have another one for you. <laughs> So I'm going to put you right there after October 26. <laughs> he said, I've opened a home for old people. Volk's got his room. You're going to have one as well. And then look at his little smirk. He's funny. Max, what can we expect on October 26th? How do you expect this fight to go, Gazilia? Fireworks, man. Fireworks. I can't wait. Bring your pillow for the fireworks. Bring your pillow. <laughs> because once you're gonna see them start, you're gonna need your pillow. Brother, you've been oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come with something up. Come with something new. Say something new. You've been saying this the whole time. You've been talking. I don't need to say anything new. I don't need to hey, say you. anything new. I yeah. only need to tell you the truth. And what is the truth? I always I I always the all the time say the say the same. Hey, 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 I, don't, yeah, I, I don't need to what? say anything. What? 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 Speak, bro. Come on, bro. The, I'm, 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 I'm speaking in your language. Let's talk in Spanish. Let's talk in Georgian. Let's talk in Russian. Let's talk in, in, in Germany. What the f*** are you talking about, man? Si quieres hablamos en español y te pongo en tus sitios. If you want to talk in English, whatever you want to do, boy. Yeah, whatever you want to do, boy. The show of October 26th. You're not a boxer. You don't have an IQ of a boxer. That's okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. I don't have the <laughs> IQ. And you're gonna see my my, well, my fight now. once I'm gonna put these balls where they need to why, be. Why are you touching what? yourself, brother? Run live. He says he's put on his balls with what? Once I'm gonna put these balls where they need to why, be. Why are you touching yourself, brother? Run live TV right now. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Especially bedtime, brother. Go back. To sleep. I, I will sleep. Yeah, it's actually late here in Spain. I'm going to sleep. Of course, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> well, gentlemen. Uh, Oh my days, that is accidentally hilarious. I did not expect that. Ilya Teporia with the verbal onslaught. Max Holloway didn't really have much to say. Looking frustrated most of the interview. You can just tell that Teporia is fully set now as being a champion. In his mind, he thinks he's not going anywhere. No one's going to be able to beat him. And to be honest, I'm kind of on his side a bit. I would love Max Holloway to destroy Teporia, keep Teporia at range, hit him with them one-twos, hit him with those spin and back kicks, and Teporia to just be completely out of his depth. But the confidence that Teporia is bringing, the boxing that he brings, he's got tremendous boxing, by the way. Just go and watch him on the pads, watch him spar, watch his fights. The guy can throw. He's got incredible power and really good technique. He's great everywhere. And I do think it's a nightmare matchup for Max Holloway. Hope I'm wrong. My prediction might change as we get closer to the fight. So let's see you guys. Let me know what you thought of this interview down below. Make sure you like the video and I'll see you tomorrow.